Objective failed. Meet the lads at Kinesh's. Well, I didn't realize the town was gonna die! Who are you? Are, are you- ah! Oh my god! Okay! I just got slaughtered. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Fuck that. We're going this way. <laughs> I just got absolutely slaughtered right there. Dear. Dear god. I will right, follow the path. Which way? This way, I think. Fuck, I don't know. Wait, let's go map. I can't believe that happened. I gotta go all the way here, ride to Talonburg. Find a horse. Oh, there's some horses. Can I jump over this? Nope. Oh, God! No, no, there's more of them to kill me. Are you there? Are you kidding me? I need more stamina. Oh my god, horse riding. Okay, trot is the horse's basic pace. Walk gives your horse a chance to recover. Uh, w and left shift. Canter ideally, uh, wait, idly combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Wait, what? I, no, it's. What the fuck? Gallop is the fastest gait. <laughs> Half these words, I have no idea what the hell they mean. Following a path. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Uh, just begin cantering and don't steer with left shift. <laughs> Sirs, I, I don't need... Holy God, he's sprinting! I need this horse! I can't! I can't help you! Holy shit! I, get on the horse! Get on the horse! I'm sorry, lady! I gotta go! I'm sorry! Oh my God! Jump over this! Get off me, asshole! Leave me alone! Leave her alone! Oh, that's... Wait! That's Teresa? Teresa, I got you, girl! They're all after me! I gotta turn around and save her! That's my girl, Teresa! Horse! God! 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 Ride! I'm being shot with arrows! Ju I wish I could jump over that wall. They're so fast! Teresa! It's fine. It's fine. You guys aren't gonna kill me, alright? Listen. No! Okay! I get it! Okay! I'm just trying to save my lady! <laughs> Guys, this is not easy. How am I? Did I? <sighs> Wait, she was on the back of the horse. She she wasn't on the back of the horse, was she? She was already safe. Oh shit! I didn't even know she got on the horse. All right, well, you know, just part of the experience. I didn't see it said completed. I was too busy not trying not to be stabbed by the people chasing me. Oh, uh, I don't think she was on the horse. I have the sword, yeah, but I don't think I can actually use it. Like it won't it won't actually oh, right here. How do I use the sword? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, leave her alone. Okay. I, hey, hey, we cool. We cool. No, no, no we got to go. Turn around. Turn around and sprint. Sprint. Please. Leave me alone. No, no, no. I didn't mean to go that way. Okay, on the horse. We saved her. Now let's get the hell out of here. See you, you rat bastards.
made it out. I cannot fight those guys. Not even a little bit. Oh my god, that's awful! Are you kidding me? We saved Teresa though. She's gonna give it the give us the sucketh later. The wound must be bandaged, which Henry hasn't yet learned to do. You have to quickly get to someone who can help you. What is that supposed to mean? Who can help me? They're right behind me! I am still being strucketh! I don't think anyone's gonna help me. I'm st Sometimes you have to get to a particular waypoint in a hurry, but if Henry has already been in a certain place, it's not- HELLO?! What am I supposed to do? I can't bandage. All the way back here? Are you being serious? I am galloping. I was holding shift the entire time. It would not let me. And I don't know how to put the sword away. Okay. Settings. Controls. Movement. I was holding gallop the entire time and it was not galloping. Block. Draw melee weapon. How do I sheath my weapon? Surrender, G. See, there's no way to put your weapon away. I'm not even going to bring my sword out for this. I'm just going to run in there, punch him in the back of the head. I was galloping fine right during this, but as soon as it went to that other scene, I couldn't do it. No, see, I think my... I honestly think my horse was out of stamina. Maybe not. If your horse is stamina, it will deplete when galloping. If you wish to try to push your horse when it's stamina low, it may throw you. Galloping can be exhausting and deplete your stamina too, especially if you're not an experienced horseman. Of course. Hmm. Leave her alone! Wait, I'm gonna wait for stamina. Okay. Leave her alone! Gotta go! No, no! Let me... Stop, sir! Stop! Run! Turn around! Okay. There we go. See? I'm galloping. I know how to do it. I'm being struck with arrows. Or attempted to be strucketh. Game, why can't you save right here? Okay, now on this, there we go. All right, all right, we're galloping. We're running, we're going. We're going quick before I get shot. Horse! What are you doing? Come on! Who's steering this horse? I don't want to fast travel right now. Left. I'll move this to the left along the stream. To the left along the stream. Okay. Ah, uh, they'll never catch me. They'll never catch me. Come on! Go, horse! Just go up me. It's not that difficult. This way. We gotta hurry, man. We gotta stab. We're going up the hill. We can't follow the road. I'm bleeding out. 
What the? Are you right on my ass? I don't have any stamina. Go. I'll kill you all. Horse, please. Dude, they're so fast. Me off. Please stop, sir. <laughs> I don't want to be attacked. Oh my gosh. And once you end up in here, you can't move. I think I lost him. It's actually so hard. It's so hard to go in a straight line with this thing. You, it's so hard to turn it and follow the roads. Is this guy a good guy? Run for it. Run! They're coming to kill you all. Please, to All right, we lost that guy. I don't think we have to stress now. Oh. I think I still might be drunk from the night before. I'm still bleeding? Okay, apparently you can bleed out for a long time. This map is massive. This is the next closest village? My leg, sir. <clears throat> Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. There he goes. I wake up, they're all naked. Easy. <laughs> All done. Easy? We that ain't easy. Look at how the deep that went. Bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Not quite, Thank sir. You. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> I'm 
I'm assuming the hot wine was for the for the wound to pour into the wound. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? They Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Skalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Damn. This game is brutal, man. I just watched my mom and my dad get slaughtered. Didn't even learn the family business. Talk to Sir Robard. Robard. Can I just sit for a second, man? I just want to sit. I need some food. Hello? Wine? Drink? Anything? Food? Grapes? Oh, I can grab my inventory from here. Poor quality arrow. <laughs> Is this the arrow that I pulled out of my leg? <laughs> the game gave it to me? So I can't, you can't bandage yourself. You're not bleeding. Fine then. Didn't want it anyway. Speech, charisma, Sam, player. I haven't, I haven't got any level ups. All right, get up. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. I need something to eat, sir. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. There's a, there's a bed on the little, sir, I need to talk to you. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow Please is tell me easier what to bear on a full stomach. I have a kin there. I heard about your father. To the kitchen. Oh, is this the God. kitchen? There's there's a pretzel looking thing. Eat. Food. I don't know where the kitchen is. Hello? I'm looking for the kitchen. This doesn't seem to be the place. There's no, there's no better map. These are an export area. Your bed. Baker. This is the baker right here. Oh, he's, he's in this room. Hello? No, he's not in this room. Is he down below? Was it the guy that I was talking to earlier? What the hell is going on? It's got to be this since there's a table here. Excuse me, sir. Are you the baker? Get, <laughs> Get the hell out of here, he says. Bye, dude. Jesus. And that's locked. Uh, things are getting blurry. Dude, I don't actually know where the kitchen is. Oh, the ba maybe the baker's down below. Ah. Hello, I'm here for food. Ah, uh, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. 
Bojana. I doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. Oh, what a sweet old and lady. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Who the hell gets into bed with boots on? Come on, man. What do you take me for? Some type of savage? It said you learned kitchens. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he eats long enough, if he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. An apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more effective for healing. You learned kitchens. I would love to eat roast duck. I'm gonna pick up all these. Please tell me what happened in scallops. I have kin there. Am I just shoving all this in my butt? I'm assuming I have to pick it all up and then eat it separately. Okay, my man, my man is hungry. Food, I wanna eat. Uh, oh, a staple of countryside cuisine, lentil mash. I will eat it and ro roast duck. Now, where is my, oh, I see. Health 100, energy 32, nourishment nine. Now, if I eat this roast duck, it's gonna give me 26 nourishment. Oh, I see. But it's lowering my energy. Red roll gets me energy, one energy. I'm just trying to fill up my, my nourishment. Objective completed. Eat. All right, I did it. I ate a lot of food. Seems mm. you're good enough for the gent. What? Who? No, who are you? You're you're good enough. I don't I don't know who you are. You don't. Oh. <laughs> you men are like little I, kids. I'm falling asleep. I gotta go to bed. I'm literally falling asleep where I'm standing. I gotta go over here. How do I get in there? Hello. Nope. I gotta sleep. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna faint. Uh, is this my room? No, no, that's not my room. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, this is my room. Close the door. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon of the compass. Sit on it, la launch sleep, and set how long you want to sleep for. I gotta take my boots off. Okay, I don't think I actually have to do that. What if, what if I get in trouble for leaving my boots on? How long do you want to sleep? One hour effects. Oh, I see my nourishment goes down. Okay. Nine hours. A good eight hours of sleep, I think, is the best. Yeah. I want to sleep for eight hours, please. Thank you. You know, got to get a full night's rest, guys. But did my sleep get disrupted? Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? <laughs> Why is he doing this? He wasn't even sleeping. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, my lady... Uh... 
Um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? The Cirque. I thought you could do with a little wine. Mm. It's just what you need to help you sleep. Is this a little booty call? My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. Oh, she wants but it! But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. All right, thanks. Can I go back to bed now? You interrupted me an hour into my sleep. I just got shot with an arrow. I just can't talk about it. Tell the story of the raid. I mean, I'll talk you might about be right, it. My lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for ale. Oh my God, there's a time? Uh, there's... Uh, I went to collect a debt. I met my friends. I went to the tavern for ale. I met my sweetheart, Bianca, there. Oh, I can't tell her that. I went to collect a debt. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. <laughs> Oh. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Uh, I've been secretly learning sword fighting. Sir Radzik came to look at the sword, and me and father talked about life. I don't know. I don't know. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's <laughs> horde was already responses. on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, oh, God. Let's not do this. There was a huge horde of attackers. I saw smoke on the horizon. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. Oh, awful. Oh, she says I'm different. And then death descended on Scalitz. The Scalitz folk fled to the castle. For I saw them kill my girl, Bianca. D uh, this one. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. Deja vu? And murdered her in cold blood. <laughs> you poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. Bianca dead. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. You knew? They told you. The siege, I needed a horse. I ran for my life. Uh, I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening... You thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. 
It was Teresa, the mill wench. The mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Shucks. Also, in comparison to Shucks. the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Very, very interesting. All right, all right. Jesus. Sorry, someone in my sex dungeon. Screaming all the time. Never stops down there. You learned women in the Middle Ages. <laughs> Why does he keep saying stuff like that? Oh, God, is he having a nightmare? Oh, no. She didn't
didn't say that before she died. Okay. Don't be a coward now. That's not what they said. That's fucked up, man. The brain just does terrible things to you. You learn to women. That Wake cracks up. me up. You don't want to miss this. What is the... What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Oh, I have my boots on. Hopefully he didn't see. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Game saved. Uh, I'm going to pick up a torch. Take the torch from the table. If you need a light at night, use your torch by holding... What is that? I can't even tell what that is. Is it one? Ah, it's one. But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, to use a shield, it's better to drink Nighthawk Potion for better night vision. Okay, Nighthawk Potion. Wait, wait. Okay. I feel like I have to shut the doors in this game. I don't know why. <laughs> hello, are you guys coming? Oh, hello, what is your names? Hello, madam. I am your friend. Have you lost something? Lord Almighty. Hey, hey what are you doing here? Clear off quick or I'll throw you out. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, are you after is something? someone there? No, no, no. I wouldn't be after anything. Is someone there? Jesus. Ah! Beautiful night here. Where do we go over here? Which way? Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Oh, definitely this way. storm is a sign from God. We should have fled to the wood. Good health to you. <laughs> Good health to you. Do you know what's happening? No. What about you? Me? How could I? I saw you with Sir Robot. Didn't he tell you anything? No, nothing. Hmm. Great conversation, dude. The storm is a sign of God. All right, fuck these random guards. Very hard. Listen up. Heed my commands, and all will end well. I'm here. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the elements of surprise after the raid on Skalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Skalitz to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that. Our dad support. called that storm, remember? Well, he said anyway. his knees aches when a storm we'll seemed coming. We'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. God, it is, really is coming down. Jesus. Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Oh, shit! Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend. Is this How guy a bad guy? How to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. 
We were able to sneak out right under their noses. Bullshit. Bullshit. We would have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. Yeah, yeah I know it's the guy I made lad. the sword for. It's still he's shady. Deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark time. Move out! Anywhere, people? Move out! Uh, maybe not. Maybe he's not a bad guy. Maybe he's, he's being honest. Maybe they did use the storm as cover and they're, they're disappearing. Or at least trying to. Alright. Men. Tonight we'll have Sorry. triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing... Boozing? Of course not. Can I be of help, sir? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. <laughs> I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Alright, sounds good. I mean, if I must. Keep watch on the battlements. Hello! Hello? Hello! I see some people down there. There's no other guards? Why would they leave me by myself? You are in a private area. Well, my private area now. Long distance arrows. Steal all. I feel like I shouldn't steal in this game. Like stealing in this game is gonna be very, very, very bad. Well look at I could have a I could have a bow and some arrows. There's nobody in here. Can I actually get in tr Ooh, there's some spears? Oh, no, there is a guy. Oh, hello. Uh, nothing. I ain't stealing shit. Hello, sir. Good health to you. You to a uh, you uh, you to well. What do you think about the scallops folk fleeing? What do you think about the scallops folk? Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time. Press D and see how long you. Wait, and set how long you want to wait. Watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger grow even during skip time. Wait until morning. 
I'm gonna wait until morning right here. I didn't even get to sleep, man. Oh god, no, no, no. What? Is this supposed to be morning right here? It's morning. Alright, start. Wants me to wait eight hours? My energy is gonna be so Ah yes! Everyone to the what? What is that? What does the horn mean? Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go, go. Okay. Go to the bat battlements. What do you mean that's not that's not morning? Yes it is! Maybe it wasn't morning. <laughs> oh shit. Sweet! Twice in two days! See how the self appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Markwart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markwart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom. The Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. That's horrifying. Horrifying. Just leave.
bastards. Bastards gotta play us like that too. I thought they were just gonna. I thought they were gonna charge. I thought they were gonna charge. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. What was old man Robard gonna do? <laughs> he has to sling it over his shoulder. Probably has to do the same thing with his giant old man penis. We're definitely going to kill that guy. I definitely, definitely need to kill him. 